Gratitude is your superpower. And if you're anything like me, you can use all the superpowers you can get. So I'm Coach Tom, Life Life Fitness. I am here to light share how you can use gratitude to have a stronger body, stronger mind, and a stronger life. Let's get down to it. So the benefits of gratitude can be higher mood elevation, better sleep, better metabolism, lower blood pressure, even less inflammation. There's a lot of physiological benefits to gratitude, and there's also mental, psychological, emotional, and light sharing benefits. I have backed this up with science because you know I'm a nerd, so you can see for yourself how very valuable gratitude is. First things first, you've heard the cliche, you need to have an attitude of gratitude. Here's what that means. You can approach, you can have to carry gratitude around with you like your cell phone. You have to carry it with you everywhere you go and decide that you are going to be that gratitude person instead of that complaining person or that person who's always looking for the negative in things or that person who gives up very, very easily because they don't have the hope and gratitude it takes to get through tough stuff. Now, for me, gratitude has a special affinity. I had reached a point in my life. I had just been incarcerated. I had struggled with drug and al drugs and alcohol for years. I was homeless. Everything, I had nothing, nothing going on. And on the surface, or even on the outside, it looked like there was nothing to be grateful for. So when I decided I'm going to change my identity, I'm going to change my lifestyle, I'm going to stop going back and using drugs and alcohol as my feel-good club crutch and my feel good thing when things were bad. So I decided when things felt really bad and they did, I would just go to gratitude and gratitude literally became like a superpower for me to get through those tough times when nothing seemed like it was going to go my way. And it didn't for a long time, but that gratitude I learned firsthand can get you through the toughest of times, but you have to decide to carry it around with you everywhere. And perspective, you have to decide to see everything through gratitude lenses. That means you go into a room, to a situation, environment, instead of looking for things to fix or things to complain about, you are looking for things to feel grateful for. Because when you're looking for things to be grateful for, you're going to find way more of them. So it's important that you take that perspective and you, take, you approach every situation with a perspective of gratitude. Because the more you look for the more you're going to find. Kind of like when you buy a new white SUV, say a Honda. You buy a new Honda SUV, next thing you know, you see them all over the place. You didn't see that many before, but now that you have one, and you have that perspective, you're noticing them all over. What we look for, we always find. All right, physiologically. So for those science people out there, I have backed this up with research. I will include the link so you can check it out yourself. Researchers have done studies with two baseline groups. One had a daily gratitude practice, the other didn't. And over the course of anywhere from three months to a year, the people with a daily gratitude practice had lower blood pressure, better immune systems, and the whole these anxiety and depression levels went way, way down. So physiologically, it's definitely gonna help you. Socially, People are going to want to be around you. So they always say, become the person you want to attract. So if you want friends that are happy, upbeat, unselfish, kind, empathetic, be that person. People tend to gravitate towards others that are grateful because grateful people are more kind. They're more empathetic. They're more understanding. They're less selfish. They're less self-centered. And I don't know about you, but that sounds like a pretty good person to hang around to me. So our relations and our connections with other people is the greatest factor in our overall happiness. So you will be more attractive. People will enjoy being around you more when you have that gratitude muscle flex in. And gratitude is a muscle. And this muscle will help you with sleep. Studies here show that not only does it lower cortisol levels, which basically helps you burn fat faster, being in a gratitude state before bed allows you to sleep better, to get more REM sleep. And by the way, everyone says abs are made in the kitchen. Abs are really made in the bed while you're sleeping. That's when the muscle recovery happens and the fat breaks down 
And that is when your body goes through the changes that you elicited throughout the day. So getting good sleep is important. Going to bed in a gratitude mindset, very important to make that happen. Overall physical health. You are going to exercise more if you're grateful. Research has proven it. So again, another baseline study where people that had a gratitude practice and were consciously working to build a gratitude muscle exercise more often and enjoy working out more often. They also stuck to their clean eating plan better and basically had an overall better level of physical health. But my favorite factor is it opens up the door for light sharing. If you haven't watched any of my previous videos, light sharing is that awesome, unseen, but very powerful force we can tap into at any time. It's when we share our most positive intentions to help others and that others do the same and together, boom. Some people call it God, higher power, the universe, but it's that unseen force that connects us all and we can tap into it at any time. And gratitude, I've found, is one of the quickest ways to get into your light sharing power. But how do you flex your gratitude muscle? I'm telling you all the benefits of it, but how do you actually grow it and build it? That would not be cool if I just told you the benefits without telling you the path to get there. All right, you already have a morning routine. You already have a morning ritual. You get up, you hyperhydrate, perhaps you take some numbers, you do some movement, you have a mindset, add gratitude to your morning ritual. Now here's the deal. You cannot just write it down. Even though that's one of the things we always do, writing down a gratitude list only works if you feel the feeling that comes along with what you're grateful for. So if all you do is write, I'm grateful for my family, I'm grateful for my dog, I'm grateful for my job, I'm grateful for my health. Okay, you wrote it all down. It's better to write down fewer things, take a second, and feel the feeling that comes along with that thing you're grateful for. The feeling is what gives it power. So feeling grateful is the power source. Having a gratitude journal that you go back and read later and feeling the feeling that comes along with it, essential. And I always recommend whenever you do a list, write first, then read and feel. It really helps. Writing a gratitude letter to another person, someone that you've been grateful for, you assume they know, maybe you said thank you to them, but you really have some deep gratitude for that person. Write them a letter. Honestly, a handwritten letter goes a long way these days, but if it means uh, an email, that's good too. If it's a card, a text, whatever, but a handwritten letter is gonna be therapeutic for you and for them. Here's an awesome one, gratitude jar. All right, something happens. Today, Luke gave me a hug and said he loved me. Ooh, I write that down. That's one for the gratitude jar. So I write it down, I put it in the gratitude jar. At the end of the year, you go through your gratitude jar, take them all out and read them, and oh my gosh, are you powered up for the next year. But just that whole ritual, same for your whole family, all your friends. Oh, that's one for the gratitude jar. Always put them in there, and then share them with your family at the end of the year. I'm grateful that our car started, even though the batteries did. I'm grateful that they had our favorite spaghetti sauce at Safeway. I'm grateful that Jack did awesome in his game. I'm grateful that People are smiling when they go to Lifeline. Whatever it is, write it down and then review it later. Also, gratitude share dinner. Every day before dinner, instead of saying a prayer or blessing, we go around and what are you grateful for? And when multiple people are sharing gratitude and a gratitude feeling, that is light sharing. And that opens up the door for a lot of potential and a lot of superpowers. My goal for you is to get your mind right, your body tight, and let you tap into your power to light share. All right, so gratitude lists can get boring. I know this from experience, and I've seen people do it, and I've done it myself. I am grateful for my family. Boom, boom, boom. Same things all the time. But if you are looking for new things to feel grateful for and to be grateful for, you're going to find them. And the more new things you find, the stronger your gratitude muscle grows. It's just like doing a bicep curl with dumbbells and then doing the same bicep curl on TRX and then maybe even doing it on an exercise machine, or then also doing it with a barbell. You're gonna hit that muscle from different angles in different ways, and it's gonna grow it better and faster. Same with gratitude. The more and the variety of different things you find to feel grateful for, the stronger your gratitude muscle is gonna grow. Here's a big one. When life sucks, and it will sometimes, 
sometimes things require us to struggle, require us to feel pain, require us to get through. But when it does, make gratitude your go-to. Use the 3R technique. Recognize, oh, that sucks. I feel bad. And I'm thinking negative thoughts about myself. Release the negative thoughts you're thinking about yourself and replace them with, I'm grateful that I, I'm still in the game and I still have a chance to do better. I'm grateful that that part went well. I'm grateful that that person won. So this is crazy. But say you're competing with someone and they beat you. You feel bad because you worked your hardest and you thought you could do it, but they won. If you replace, oh, I'm not as good as them with, I am grateful that I got to compete and I'm grateful I get to another chance to compete with them later and I'm grateful that they did what it took to win. I'm grateful for them. It changes your mindset, opens up light sharing for you, and by golly, you're going to attract more awesome stuff for yourself. Acts of kindness, doing something kind for another person without expectation. There's a huge difference. And I trust and believe I learned this the hard way. Sometimes we do acts of kindness to get a pat on the back, to get recognition, to keep score, or maybe that person will owe us a favor, or maybe we're making up for something. There's a huge difference between doing it for selfish motives and doing an act of kindness for the sole purpose of being kind. You want more kindness in the world, you realize how valuable it is, so you do something kind for someone. Here's the deal. This study that I'm referencing, when someone did an act of kindness with unselfish intentions, they enjoyed the benefits of that for up to three to six months. One act of kindness. So it is definitely in our best interest to do kind things without expecting anything in return. Now, there's a big one. Often, we're waiting until we get that new job to feel grateful. We're waiting until our body looks exactly the way we want to feel grateful. We're waiting until we can afford that new house until we feel grateful. It doesn't really work that way. If you feel grateful for what you already have, you're actually going to attract what you want. It doesn't work the other way around. Again, feeling grateful for the house you already have is going to help you light share and focus and attract and get and create the house you want. Same with jobs, same with friends, same with feelings, same with your body. So be grateful for what you already have and you'll get what you want much faster. Focus on what you have and the gratitude feeling around it. Now, the opposite of gratitude is selfishness, resentment, and envy. Also, anger. It is impossible to be angry at someone or something if you're grateful for them. So making sure you're aware when those things are happening. Self-centeredness, selfishness, those are big ones. Just being aware of those feelings, recognizing them, rele releasing them, and then replacing them for what you are grateful for, and be sure to feel the feeling is going to change your life and grow that gratitude muscle. Because at the end of the day, I know that gratitude will empower your ability to light share. And light sharing is that secret power you've always had that you just got to tap into. And when you do that, not only does it empower you, it empowers you to go out there and help other people. Light sharing is all about turning our own struggles into strengths so we can use those new strengths to empower and help others. I'm Coach Tom the most grateful man on the planet, and I hope this helped you.